Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with more efficiency and fasten your speed of the workflow if you use shortcuts in SketchUp. So if you have seen any of those earlier videos in this course, you would have noticed how I rarely actually go to a toolbar and select a tool. I don't generally do that. I usually just go by hitting some keyboard shortcuts to select the tools. So I'm going to show you an example of how you can actually fasten your work and efficiency in SketchUp while you're modeling by using uh, these keyboard shortcuts. So if I'm about to make a cone, so f what I would do first is do it without using any of those keyboard shortcuts. So let's make that conic figure first without shortcuts. So I would do this, hit on a circle, then the push tool to extrude it, then the scale tool to actually scale this face down to have this conic sort of figure. So this is how much time it will take me to do this thing without the short curves. Now with the short curves, that's gonna be a lot. That's gonna take a lot lesser time. It doesn't take as much time as before. So this is where it's very a uh, necessity to actually use these short curves to be more efficient at work. And you can always assign these shortcuts or rather create new ones. And to do that, you can go to the windows, then to the preferences. And here you see shortcuts. Here you see every possible command or tool that you can actually set the um, set these shortcuts for. All those functions are here. This includes the inbuilt options and also the extensions that you have just installed in, plus all these plugins also. Or to search a function or a command, you can always type in that uh, function. Like if I say push, so I can actually uh, search it from here. That is, I can filter it from here. And right now, what it shows me is B is already assigned to the shortcut. I can also assign some more of the shortcut keys to this uh, function. So make sure that all those commands and functions that you use mostly, you assign shortcuts to them. And you can always like uh, erase these shortcuts, also rather delete them from the from the from the function you have already assigned them to before and what you can do afterwards is you can save this whole thing like uh, onto your drive or you can actually say export that all into a file that you can import afterwards maybe if you just renewed your uh, your SketchUp or maybe installed a different version of SketchUp that you can import that same file so you will have the same uh, same sort of uh, shortcuts that you used earlier, same presets rather. Make sure that you use more of these shortcuts to actually be more efficient at work and while you're actually modeling in SketchUp. 